and it's not a horrible footing. So we're coming back. We've done our clover. And of course, I'm sure she's gonna wanna go towards him. Oh, it's horrible in here. So, good job. I'll go this way. Oh, back up now. Back up. See, my hands are like shaking so bad. Back up now. Back up now. Good job. So we'll do the clover leaf this way. Whichever way I feel like she's wanting to go, we'll go opposite. We'll do opposite day. So, good job. Go this way. She did good. My knees are really starting to hurt. So I think she has the clover leaf pattern in her head. Probably better than I even have it. You're a good baby. You're a good mare. So she knows where it is. See how her head's tilting that way and she wants to go back. So we're gonna go opposite day. Opposite. <laughs> and she's like, mommy, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And she doesn't care if she runs me over. <laughs> she really doesn't. She doesn't know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go back to the center. A plus sign. Good job. It's always good to practice walking your horse. So, we'll do one more four leaf clover. And I'm going to do it this way. So she's thinking, we'll go this way. So you guys see kind of the pattern that I'm doing here? I don't like you that close to me. So this is like our, our center. So we would go down this way. She wants to go back to him, but we're walking over this mess. Watch your feet, care for your feet. Care for your feet. We'll go this way. She's doing good and you know, every time I feel like she's thinking about going back towards him, I just walk away. So then we're gonna end this lesson here. That is my four leaf clover lesson with her. I'm hoping you guys can imagine the circle here, the circle there, the circle there, and the circle there. She did really good. And of course she's gonna get treats. And she's like, well, this is a different, this is a different thing. We've never done this before. We've never done this before, have we? Hmm. So muddy here. I think I'll walk that one clover one more time. Just to be sure. I'll go this way. I'll go this way. Hey, hey. Not directly behind me. I don't have my stick today. Oh, sorry, you guys. I've been watching the ground. Ugh. Nice video. It's because it's loose. It's loose. And this would be the center. She's looking at him. You're doing really good, Mare. So I think we'll go this way. Since she wasn't thinking that way, we'll go this way. Good job. I'm doing so good. Considering your momsy can't even figure out her own pattern that I did. Okay, so one more time around this way. 
Oh, that's a lot of work. <sighs> Walking my horse. A pattern. Now, like I said, I would ride it. But because of the condition of the footing here, we won't be doing that. <sighs> oh, good girl. Look at her. This is a great exercise for her mind. It's putting a pattern in her head. Clinton Anderson said if you do it four times, 10 minutes, four days in a row at the canter, you'll have such a nice cadence at the canter and it's so good for their brain. It's so good for their thinking. It calms them down. You can just see how many times she's blown out. What a good girl. So I'm gonna flex her head. Oh, we're flexing. Good job. Good job. You did excellent. You're going to get a superstar sticker. Good girl. Good job. Yeah, and it feels like really super hot out. So they're going to need more hay. Because I noticed their hay was practically gone. So good job. I think somebody needs some carrots, huh? You want some carrots? Guys, she's so light now. She did that so well and beautiful. Good job. Oh, I love that little pursed lips because I got the itchy spot. Oh, yes, you darling. You darling. Yes, you're a sweet girl. Yes, you're so sweet. Oh, look at you. And it's super windy today, and she did really good for, like, a windy day. I took her away from him. She's starting to get really level-headed, and, you know, I'm not saying she doesn't have her silly moments, but... My two dogs are over there because it's too hot in the car. You did really good, huh? I'm so proud of you. So check this out, touch, and then you won't release it. That's, the timing is very important. The second she touches, you drop it. That's how they learn, the release of pressure. What a good mare. You see her udder she likes. Let me get the magma off the udders. A nice moment to get this my mom off your other little pretty girl. She does until she doesn't. <laughs> like she'll let me do it so far and then then she'll swish. Be like, that's enough mommy. Okay, you gotta get carrots because you were so good. I don't know how long that took. So I just spent 20 minutes with her walking her a four-leaf clover pattern. So I'm gonna show you what that is. Um here. I'll draw what I was just doing. I'll draw it so you guys can see. So, what Clinton Anderson said was, so this is your pasture, okay? And it would be a hundred foot by hundred foot square, okay? And so you would want to canter down the center, but then when they get hot, you're hitting a circle. Okay, so there's your clover leaf pattern. All these are circles are the clover leaf. That's what we just did. We just did that in her pasture. This would be the road. This was the inside trees. We went this way and around a couple times. Jamie, you're walking. Mwah. I love her so much. You are the best today. Mwah. You are the absolute best queen today. They got so so wet last night I was like in bed going oh god should I have put their blankets on but it was in the 60s so yeah mommy you're great she's standing in the four leaf clover so what you want to do is you can her down the long side if they feel like they're pulling to the left you go to the right and you do a circle and you get back to the center and you go down that straight away and if they're pulling back to the barn, you go that way. Go back down. So you've been around the circle. You go back down. And then you'd get to, when you get to, oh, no, no, no. Look at her. She's like, Mommy, I want you to scratch my butt. You get it. I'll provide a link. Anyways, I'm going to give her her much deserved butt scratchings. Because she loves that. And look how respectful she was about it. She didn't mow me over. She used to barrel me down with that butt like the butt would just come and just toss me right out of the way that's why when I go down there and if that um, gate is shut I back her up into the gate 
and I use her butt to push the gate open. What a good mare! He has you for sweet little love. Mwah. He's the best kisser. We the best kisser. All right. So at 24 minutes, it becomes two videos. So this is two videos of us doing the clover leaf pattern by foot, and then we'll do it. Um, me riding her when it's dry but I'll probably walk it uh, several more times I'm going to rope up all of my ribbon and put that away and our pasture just got bigger for her but it has a meaningful pattern which will really help her to focus on me as a rider rather than focusing on where is he and what what trees are moving and what cars are making noise and so it'll be good this this will be a blessing as far as utilizing more of our pasture to ride in because we really don't have it we don't have an indoor arena at all we don't have an outdoor arena all we have is a round pen and going around in circles is boring you know no no oh no 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 god everything wants to go in its mouth he's so naughty all right i'm gonna over and out it the man.